Hey, come here. You decided to buy a house, good for you. I'm gonna give you three things today you must, must, must be honest with your agent about. That is coming up next. Hey everybody, it's Matt Allen here with the Allen team. I hope you are having a fantastic day today. Mine is off to a good start. Today's video, we are going to talk about three things that you absolutely, absolutely must be honest with your agent about when you're getting ready to buy a house. At the end, I'm gonna give you one more bonus, so stick around. I'm also going to tell you where you can download a guide to all the steps throughout the buying process to make it a little easier for you. Without further delay though, we're gonna get into it with number one. Be upfront with your realtor on how much you're able to borrow, what your down payment is, what you're qualified to buy. Exaggerating that number, which I do see buyers do from time to time, is not really gonna help anybody. It's just gonna delay the process because you're looking at houses you don't qualify for. It's a good idea and something I really require is for you to initially meet with a lender, get an idea or actually find out exactly what you're qualified for, how much down payment you're gonna put down, and get all that information out so that I can accurately find the house that's gonna fit your needs. I am not going to jump up you know, uh, price points, if you don't qualify for it, why would I do that? So um, getting a realistic idea of what you're qualified to buy, that's number one. When are you going to purchase this house? And I'm not trying to be the pushy salesman, but realistically, we have to have an idea of when you're looking to make that commitment to buy. If you are a year away, it's really not gonna do us any good to go out looking at properties because they're gone in a hot second in this market. So make sure you're realistic with your agent as far as when you're looking to buy that house. An agent can set you up on an MLS search so you can start to get an idea of value and what kinds of things you like and dislike in a house. But to go out and look at houses if you're six months down the line, it's really not gonna make a lot of difference and it's going to, to actually waste your time because prices may change in six months. So keep that in mind. Location, 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 you guys. I can't stress this enough, and I know I've mentioned this in other videos. You really need to know where you're going to wanna to live before we start that house hunting process. I have people still doing it where they're looking for this dream house, and they're just looking all over the place. And when they find it, they realize it's not the area they wanna live in. You can always move the house, you can't move the location, remember that. So you can find the house in just about any location, but you can't move that location. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyway, make sure you know that location, know where you're gonna live, that, the, you know, looking at things like how close it is to um, highways, airports, restaurants, grocery, all those type of things play a key role and, and you're gonna be your happiness when you live in that house. So make sure you take a look at that. Bonus time. What are your non-negotiables? I go through this almost daily, multiple times a day. What things must you have in your house? Whether it's two bedrooms downstairs, whether it's an open kitchen floor plan, whether it's a pool. That's a key one. If you're looking at houses with no pools and you have to have a pool, it really doesn't make any sense of what we're doing. So make sure you give a full list to your realtor of what non-negotiables you must have. I gotta have four bedrooms. I need to have three bathrooms. No two-story houses. All of that is vital information and it has to get relayed to me or whatever realtor you're working with, hopefully me, so that I can put together a list of houses that's gonna suit those needs. Hey, you guys, I hope this was interesting and valuable for you. If you click down below or look down below, I've connected a link to a guide that you can take and download or look at and see all of the steps that are necessary for you to take as a buyer. It's a real helpful guide for you. 
But if you do have other questions, drop them down below, send me an email, send me a text, whatever works the best for you. I appreciate your time and we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Super bonus, double bonus, a second bonus. You didn't even know this was coming. When you are negotiating a contract, make sure you are upfront and honest with your realtor as far as where you want to lie with the offer, whether it's terms, price, whatever it is, make sure they have a realistic bottom line. Of course, we're going to try to get way above that, but we need to know kind of where you're going to be or where we need to fall in order to make this transaction happen for you. So don't try to hold that back or pad that number. It doesn't do us any good when we're in that negotiation process. And I see it time and time again. I'll just tell my agent I'm willing to go to this, but I'm really willing to go to that. It doesn't really help the process. So, you know, if you're working with an ethical agent, you need to share that information so that we can really try to negotiate and get you to that finish line. Hey, 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 we're not done yet. If you like the video, check this video out over here. It gives you more buyer tips. It's awesome, you gotta check it out.